Hey everyone, uh, today I'm pulling a, one of my sacks. Um, I've got quite a few on the ground. I think we're at like 16 either in incubators or with the moms. Um, today we're pulling the Avicularia Versicolor sack. So I'm going to do a video of that, of the pulling um, and opening of that sack. I also want to do kind of a touch base on how I do uh, my incubators for my eggs. Um, tried a lot of different ways and this way seems to work best for me. So uh, let's get started and uh, let's pull a sack. Okay, here's uh, my Versicolor female. She's laying on the side holding her sack. Kind of hard to see with all that webbing. Wow, look at all that web. Tons of webbing. Gonna be a little hard to get that away from her. I'm gonna take some pictures in here so, so uh, we will have couple pauses but I like to document all that I do um, with photo photography so so we're gonna take a quick picture real quick as we go okay now the fun part Ooh, look at her bite. Yeah. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. No, 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 no. Come on. Let me have it. No. Let me have it. There we go. <laughs> Feisty. Taking her babies. She's such a good mama. All right. Where's your lid before you really get mad? Yeah, she needs a meal. Beautiful, beautiful spider, though. One of the few that I have been bit from, so yeah, I've gotten tagged by one of these. Okay, so we'll put that out of the way. And let's bring the egg sack over. I just got on top of a empty enclosure. Hmm, it's pretty heavy. Hopefully it's good. So we're going to take some scissors, cut the top, let's dig down in here and see what we've got. If you're wondering how long uh, that, I, that this egg sack I left with mom, it's been 30 days. Um, I try to leave them with mom for for 30 days and then pull them at that time. Um, usually they're starting at 30 days, starting to develop their legs. So you should have eggs with legs. Let me take a picture. All right, so let's see. I don't know if this will work, but. I'm going to take this over here and see if we can't get a better way of seeing that. So there they are. Um, looks like I don't see any eggs legs. I just see eggs. So hopefully it's good. But uh, we'll find out. Okay, so now we're going to start. We're going to build the incubator. Um, I wanted to do one right from scratch you can see how fast and easy it is so um, these are I believe 32 ounce you know deli containers um, you can buy them you know online just for deli stores they sell them I believe this one's an 8 ounce and this one's kind of a, a white I like the clears but this is just one I had sitting around um, you get a lid on the on the small one set it in there pretty easy right so take a drill, make sure you got uh, a small enough bit that the babies, depending on what you're doing, I mean these are versicolor, they're not gonna, they're gonna be probably close to a half inch, just over a quarter probably, oh, yeah, between a quarter and a half in the hatch. Um, so they're not gonna get out with this tiny bit. Uh, if you're doing stuff like pumpkin patch and stuff, stuff that comes out itty bitty, you wanna make sure your bit's small. So we're gonna drill through both containers on, kinda high on it. So, just going around, putting a couple small air holes in. The 
just like that. And then I'm going to do this on the bottom. These aren't for air. This is actually for humidity. them lots of holes in the bottom okay just like that so now what we're gonna do get rid of all the piece of plastic okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find where these are we're gonna put water this is gonna have all water in it but you don't want it touching the bottom of here so I'm gonna kind of mark that with my hand about kind of where I want that water level max at and we're going to fill it up. Alright. Check it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And the reason we don't want the water to touch this, okay, we're using a coffee filter. That's what's actually going to hold the babies. Coffee filter fits in there like that. The reason we don't want the water to touch this, I don't want this filter. I don't want the eggs getting wet. Um, you can get mold problems, stuff like that. This humidity, the way it works, I mean, I, they're going to thrive and they don't need to be wet. But they get plenty of humidity. So I got the little egg sack here. I'm gonna dump all these eggs in here. Make sure I got them all. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna quick show you that. There's all the eggs in there. Look pretty good. Don't see any legs, but uh, for the most part, they look good. Looks like maybe one or two bad that I can see right off the top of my head. Um, then take your lid. No vent holds on top of the lid at all. Put the lid like that, like that. Mark it, what species it is, and there you go. Easy. Real quick, real simple. Works great. I love how this works. I like the setup on it. Um, we got a lot of them that I do that way. Here's a bunch in waiting. LPs, canceritis. Nahandu chromatis, Brachypelma saba pelusums, um, all sorts of stuff. There's a Balfouri right there, um, all sorts of stuff. But you can see, that, I mean, they thrive. Here's an LP. They're just all over the place. Let's see if we can see that in there. They're just everywhere. So, they work real good. You get stuff to climb on. These guys are getting ready to not long and they'll be out of that out of those incubators into portion cups but uh, yeah it works great so you know I wanted to share hope everybody likes it um, works good for me wouldn't tell I tell you different if it didn't you know so this is what I use and and, and that's the gist of it thanks guys